inputs. So with inputs, what we're seeing is that in order to train all of these tools that we're using from DALI to ChatGPT, BART, um, potentially Imogen and all of the other uh, applications, um, we need large amount of data. So um, what happens is um, that data, the best source of that data is the internet. So the question is quite, I, I think actually from the inputs is quite simple. Um, are companies making copies? Um, yes, there is, that, that no question whatsoever. So um, are those copies um, uh, legitimate, not legitimate? It depends. So sometimes they're using public domain works, they're using works that are uh, available uh, under uh, some rights reserved licenses like Creative Commons or using software that is under uh, open source software license, et cetera, et cetera. So you can use that. And also um, potentially there could be uses that are not, permi not permitted, but the, the authors of those works haven't allowed their works to be, um, uh, to be used, to be in the training. So if there is any copying that is not authorized, my question is, okay, let's assume that is the case. It is the case. So I go through a little bit of the technical issues. And then eventually I try to ask the question, okay, are there any defenses or are these companies going to end up paying billions and billions of dollars um, in damages? The, answer, the true answer is we don't know. So I have a few ideas. Um, we'll have to decide for some of these cases to come out. So nobody... If anyone tells you that they know what's going to happen, they're lying to you. I always repeat this. So I, I, I can give you my opinion. I may be wrong. I always stress this. Um, so I think that under some circumstances, some of these actions could fall under some existing exceptions and mutations. Um, potentially, it, it really depends, but um, I think um, some companies could be doing what they're doing is a temporary copy or a transient copy. So the copy works, but they just copy them for a while. They don't need them after after the model is trained. So they bring they they remove them if they need to go back to them. They will they, they can download them again and create another copy. So that is the first. Um, because what's happening is um, they make a copy and then extract information, extract data that allows uh, the generative AI to work. So that is potentially one. Mm, we don't know. Uh, we have no idea. Uh, this hasn't been tested. So uh, uh, that is the first one. Uh, the US cases are going to rest on this, I think, specifically on this question. Um, so in all, uh, there are other defenses, which is uh, potentially text and data mining. In Europe, there are uh, two exceptions, one uh, for scientific purposes and the other one for everything else, as long as the uh, rights holder hasn't uh, made a, um, a reservation of their rights. So uh, pretty much it's an opt-out system. Um, so that is in Europe and in the UK, it's scientific research, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a little bit, what we need right now is a lot of case law. So hopefully that's that's eventually going to happen. So that is from the inputs. 